So I got my pumpkin spice latte. And I'm on my way to work. So there are 250 different types of cinnamon plants. Here I'm showing you what it looks like in its most natural form. There's even a study that shows that patients who had 6 grams of cinnamon for 40 days had a lower fasting blood sugar. And there's more research being done for metabolic syndrome, which is very, very common in the United States at least. It also helps with breast milk production. It has blood pressure lowering effects. There are many proofs that it improves digestion. For those with a cold, it could also help with decongestion when used as an essential oil. It could also be used as an expectorant to break up that mucus when you need to cough. Clove is very pungent. The clove comes from a flower bud. It was originally found in Indonesia. It's been shown to help with dental pain as well as help with digestion. Now, too much is actually toxic. And if you ever bit into one of these, you know how toxic it tastes. You don't want too much, you just want a little bit. It's safest just to cook with it and you should be just fine. If using the oil, definitely consult a professional. So many benefits to ginger. Between one and four grams a day of ginger has helped with arthritis, nausea, nausea and vomiting of pregnancy, has improved digestion by stimulating the pancreas, has also shown to increase gut motility. It's also used as an expectorant, so if you have a mucusy cough, that can help with that. It's also helped with other respiratory tract issues, helped with dry mouth, the list goes on and on and on. It's only been shown to have detrimental effects when you go over six grams with ulcers, gastritis, and also has been shown to have blood thinning properties, but that's at 10 grams a day, which is a whole lot. And yummy nutmeg. Nutmeg is definitely found in Grenada. And this is the nut inside the fruit. And this is how it looks when it's dried and then you could use it with a grater to grind it up into a fine powder. In terms of medical uses, it's been a great adjunct into some creams that help with diabetic neuropathy and nerve pain. And otherwise, it's just a great accompaniment to the other spices. Now, coffee gets a bad rep, but it actually has some awesome benefits. And this is due to something called polyphenols. The polyphenols are responsible for its bitter flavor, but this actually gives an antioxidant effect. A study shows that four to seven cups a day of coffee actually decreased the incidence of type 2 diabetes. But if you're really going to have that much coffee, you're going to end up with a whole bunch of other issues, including some very severe reflux. Another study showed that there was actually a decrease in stroke in women who had regular coffee use. And if I had to try out this recipe, which I may do, I would just do my instant coffee and sprinkle a little pumpkin pie spice on there. 
I'll probably also add just a little hint of vanilla and use honey or brown sugar instead of their simple sugar, high fructose corn syrup. spice latte made from instant coffee and all my ground spices to make it easier if that's too overwhelming to get all those spices just pick up some pumpkin spice well I hope you enjoyed this video the benefits of pumpkin spice lattes especially if you make it at home yourself and don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it make sure to subscribe if you want to hear more it's been a little hectic, so the videos have not been coming out weekly. You might not get one every week, maybe every two weeks. And when things kind of settle down, we'll get more on the weekly schedule. So with that and this bright sunlight, I'm going to let you guys go signing out medically yours, Dr. C.